I tend not to regret anything because no matter how bad something may appear at the time, we all learn something from it and, and, it, and it does put you where you are today. I like where I am today and, and if I had not done everything exactly as I had done it, I wouldn't be here in this situation. So I, I don't regret it. Uh, I, I do wish that I were smarter socially. I mean, I, I think I, I have the ability to solve mathematical equations and, and programming issues very, very easily. But I am a little bit naive in, in, in some social situations. And certainly in police, I was way naive. And um, one of the other famous stories that came out of there was obviously your girlfriend, Amy M. Willer, uh, who the reports, I think you've talked about trying to shoot you in the head, and yet you didn't kick her out afterwards. That, uh, to a lot of people, that would be a surprise. Tell me why, what made you decide to do that? Okay, you, you live in London, and, and probably you've spent much of your life living in a civilized society where you have laws and, and where the atrocities that much of the, the third world experiences daily are just unheard of. Um, Amy, for one, and, and many girls in, in police, has a horrific story of abuse, which if I told you, you could not believe it. Um, of course she's not gonna be well. Of course she's gonna have, you know, issues. Um, you know, when she tried to shoot me in the head, what I saw was, was a frightened child. What I saw was a, a, um, a confused girl that had been so abused physically, sexually, emotionally, beyond any description that, what are you going to do? I mean, just throw her out. Uh, that doesn't help her. Uh, all she did was burst my eardrum. I'm, I'm deaf in one ear now, but I don't have a bullet in my head. You know, I, I, I hate to, for, forgiveness is, is one of the graces that, that we have as human beings. And um, can I be faulted for, for indulging in it? A lot of people are obviously going to know about your time in Belize because of the death of your neighbor, Gregory Fall. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the background between you the, the two. The press has completely mis mischaracterized our background. I barely knew Gregory Fall. I'd never had dinner with him. I'd never spoken the entire five years I was there. I said maybe 50 words to him. Um, he did not like my dogs. And the, the, the past two occasions I had seen him walk in the beach, he, he complained. But so did everybody. My dog, I had a lot of dogs. They bark. I complained about my dogs. And I tried to do everything I could to calm them down. But to, to say that we had a running fight or an argument, that's totally absurd. He had filed a complaint against you. Boy, that was news to me, and I did not find that out until weeks after I came back to the States. No one told me he had filed a complaint. I mean, he went to the, you know, police is not like America where you file a complaint and then the police come out and check things out. You file a complaint and it goes into a drawer. And unless he would have told me specifically, I would not have known. I had no idea he had filed a complaint. Uh, when did you first hear that he had been uh, shot? That was the following morning, and my caretaker told me. And the first thing I thought of was, the first thing that came to my mind was, oh my lord, the government's finally trying to rid themselves of me, uh, which the government does from time to time. And I had certainly been a huge thorn in their side, and they simply got the wrong white man. Uh, seriously, this is what went through my mind. Um, you know, my, my friends sort of calmed me down later and, and you know, said, no, that's absurd. At, at the time, I did not think so. But you decided to go into hiding. Absolutely. I had been having a running battle with Belize. And Belize, for questioning, if they can pick you up for, for questioning and keep you for 60 days with no charges. If at the end of that 60 days they don't feel good about the questioning, they can renew it for another 60 and another 60 and another 60. I could have been in prison forever waiting to be, waiting to be questioned. Uh, I wasn't willing to do that. How do you feel knowing that there's going to be people out there who are going to always suspect that you did it? You know, that's 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 a uh, that's a public perception that that I have no control over. Um, you know, I learned a long time ago that what people think in in many cases is just immaterial. Uh, what I think matters to me and what I know matters to me. I, I know I had no connection whatsoever to Mr. Fall's death. Uh, if someone wants to, to think otherwise, that's okay. You you can't go through life having everybody love you. Uh, it, it's even difficult to be the reverse. Um, there's always going to be some someone that likes you and someone that dislikes you, uh, someone that thinks you're a hero and some that think you're a villain. Um, you know, I just do what I can in situations like this to, to continue to state that I'm totally innocent and had nothing to do with that.